Lord Frost has made clear his feelings about the EU and the ongoing fishing row between the UK and France in a meeting with EU Commission Vice President Mauro Safovi. The pair are meeting today to resolve the disagreements occurring over the fishing row, with an aim to end the dispute as soon as possible. A Scottish trawler ship was recently impounded by France as it had deemed it to be breaking fishing laws in the EU. Since then, a number of threats have been issued between both countries as the disagreements intensify. Speaking about the meeting which is taking place in Brussels, a UK government spokesperson said, Lord Frost set out the UK's assessment of the negotiations on the protocol. He underlined that progress had been limited and that the EU's proposals did not currently deal effectively with the fundamental difficulties in the way the protocol was operating. He added that, in the UK view, these gaps could still be bridged through further intensive discussions. He underlined that the UK's preference was still to find a consensual solution that protected the Belfast Good Friday Agreement and the everyday lives of people in Northern Ireland. There was also a short discussion of fisheries policy. Lord Frost reiterated that the UK had licensed 98% of EU vessels seeking to fish in UK waters, representing almost 1,700 vessels, in line with its obligations under the Trade and Cooperation Agreement TCA. He repeated that vessels must provide the necessary evidence of historic fishing activity required by the TCA in order to receive a license. Lord Frost and Vice President Sefcovic will meet again in London next week and official level discussions will continue during the week. But Twitter users were quick to comment on the nature of these talks. At Hoover Mouse tweeted, Ni voted against Brexit, there's nothing about any of this that's consensual. At the feral tweets tweeted, what an embarrassing pantomime. We all know the UK won't do anything until the COP26 Virago is over. Speaking ahead of the meeting, the Brexit minister said there remained significant gaps that needed to be resolved. Lord Frost said, the gap between us is still quite significant but let's see where we can get to. He continued, we're not going to trigger Article 16 today, but Article 16 is very much on the table and has been since July. If we can reach an agreement on the protocol that provides a sustainable solution, then that's the best way forward. However, the 56-year-old refused to comment on how long the negotiations would last. He said, I'm not going to give any timescales or any hypotheticals, we are trying to reach agreement and we're working very hard and we're going to carry on trying. 